this is the introduction part of the video where I would sum up kind of what the video is about so that you don't accuse me of using clickbait or whatever. But I don't know what this video is about as I'm recording it. I will hopefully figure that out during the course of the video. So keep watching, like, and subscribe. Okay, um, this is my round of Cosmic Crucible. It's the first round of the week, and I lost. And uh, I don't know if I could have done anything to avoid it. Because <laughs> this season of Cosmic Crucible sucks. Uh, I've got a couple things working against me. But I don't want to make excuses. I just want to learn from my failures and uh, improve upon what I'm doing. However, I don't know if I can improve right now. I'm, I feel stuck right now. And maybe it's lack of Black Knight. But I can't blame Black Knight because my opponent didn't have him. I didn't have him. But if I had Black Knight, I could probably put together a better offense team and probably get better efficiency. I don't know, though. Like I said, I don't want to make excuses. Let's have a look and see what happened. And then let me do my attacks. So my attacks were pretty routine. I used Superior 6 in Room 1. Things went well. I used Secret Defenders in Room 2, and things went well. Now, this is where things kind of fell apart. Was using this Hive Mind Sinister 6 team on Infinity Watch. I've had this go better. This was bad. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I lost. But I don't know what I can change about. I'm going to do the same attack today, and I don't know how to make it any better. Have a bigger hive mind? I, I don't know. Um, it's difficult right now. I like this team. A lot of people are using secret defenders in stage four, and it's causing problems. But this team just kind of annihilates it. Um, my Archangel's the weak link here, but, but still, it's a, it's a solid attack team. Using new Warriors, I, I'm going to try to use new Warriors again today, although I'm worried about using new Warriors today. I don't know how good of a team they are. I'm, I'm hoping that they hold up. And then this was very bad as well. I am going to use a different team in this room. I'm not going to use Eternals. Using Eternals is kind of messing me up. So I'm not using Eternals today, and this team was actually quite good. Um, in fact, let me do the replay on this so you can see exactly how good this team is because this was a fascinating attack, and it didn't go the way I thought it would. I thought the three diamonds on Icarus would be a little better. Maybe there's a misplay here. Maybe there's something I could have done better, but wow, this was really rough. This was unexpected. So here we go. Here we're coming in. We have high hopes. I remove the immunity from Dormammu. I hit multiple people with Kang. Thing, I, I think that's what I wanted to do. And here's Icarus. Now his second shot should have killed Vol. But it didn't. And I think that's where things went off the rails. Like if the second shot would have killed Vol then we would have been okay. And maybe I should have just done, done the basic with Cersei and Deval at that point, although it just didn't work out. Kang's ultimate didn't kill Vol either, which was really weird. Kang's ultimate should have killed Vol right there, that being a three-diamond Kang. But it's like three-diamond Kang and three-diamond Icarus just, like, don't matter anymore, and I don't know how to feel about that. Maybe it's level 100. I, I don't know. I can check my opponents and actually see if they were level 100 or not. Maybe that's had something to do with it. But every time I've checked that, i found that my opponents are not level 100. So, like I said, no excuses. Just got to get better. This was not a good counter. And uh, really, it came... I mean, maybe Spider Weaver here would have been better on this team. I have Spider Weaver on defense at this point, though, and I think it's doing pretty good for me. That's the other thing. My defense just didn't hold at all. Nothing I have on defense was working for me today or yesterday. I hope it does a little better for me today, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what changes I can make other than just like, you know, buying more diamonds or uh, going faster towards level 100. It's... 
I'm in a spot for sure. And uh, we're sitting here. I believe we're only in Diamond. I want to say, yeah, we're in Diamond 2. We're not even in Diamond 3. But we are there very early on in the season. Usually, I drop down at the start of the season and work my way up towards the end. Here, I had a very good first round, and I think I'm feeling the effects of that now. So, on defense, my Darkhold team held pretty well against... Um, Hive Mind. And now this is something I could do today. I could take Hive Mind and throw it at Darkhold. It does look like it works. However, the efficiency isn't really there. I don't really like a 15 point efficiency. Uh, they were able to destroy my team in room two. In fact, I got to look at this team in room two and see if it's doing anything for me on defense. This might have to go. I tried New Warrior or New Avengers. In stage three and new warriors took it out this is actually what i'm going to try today is new warriors against new avengers however i've got a bit more of a challenge than this guy had on me we'll see if uh if if it changes things what i'm looking at today as opposed to this but this was very easy for him he was able to take out i'm not taking advantage of secret defenders in stage four i know that's very good however i'm still using them on offense and i paid the price he was able to take out Pegasus with this, which is pretty clever. This is pretty low value right here. He's using a lot of garbage on this. It's basically, I mean, I do the same thing against Pegasus though. So not really too much difference there. This is interesting. This I hadn't seen before. Uh, this counter to Infinity Watch, which worked really well, which was 21 points. So this guy, he outplayed me. Pure and simple. I got outplayed. And I don't know if I can adopt the same strategy for my attacks as he did for his. It's definitely not going to work for all, um, all opponents. But if the defense is light enough, something like that could work out very, very well. Now, for me today, my defense, uh, the guy I'm looking at is a much stronger defense than I do. So I can't really play the same kind of you know game that my last opponent played on me. But I'm going to do my best. We're going to start with room one. We're going to go to room six. We're going to do them all. We're going to start off with Masters of Evil in room one. I like this against Unlimited X-Men, which is what we have here. They've substituted Quicksilver instead of Phantomix. I actually don't like that uh, very much because you're giving up a lot of evades. But I don't know. Maybe it'll work out for him. Uh, I have switched my entire Masters of Evil over to Raider and Skirmisher to take advantage of this room. He has not optimized the ISO for this room. So maybe that'll play into my advantage. All right, let's go. Let's do these attacks. So yeah, everybody, if you haven't figured it out yet, it's the Cosmic Crucible video. And <laughs> I don't know what the thumbnail is at all. Uh, I'm a bad YouTuber today. I'm sorry, everybody. I just don't have the creativity for this anymore. What are we doing? I could ability block Dazzler. I guess that's the thing to do. Let's ability block Dazzler. Sure. I also could have taken the offense up off of um, Sunfire. Who am I going to hit with Kang? I feel like I should hit Quicksilver with Kang. Just try to kill him. I think I'll just basic it. I'm just going to try to basic into Quicksilver to see if I can do the three diamonds. Nah, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And now I've spawned a Scarlet Witch to ruin my life. Oh, well, I'm going to do some more damage to Quicksilver. But it's not going to be enough. I tried to get rid of the death proofs on him, which I did, which is good. Now I can stun somebody. I am going to stun Rogue. But will this still stun her? All right, I'm going to use the special because I think the special will go through that. Yeah, the special will still stun her even though she has the evade. And the ultimate might have done it as well, but I'm not 100% on that. And I didn't want to risk it. That gambit is just tearing me up. I'm waiting to get to Kang's ultimate really. Okay, cool. Now I can grab, you see, I can't grab their buffs if they have evade. I don't think so. I think I have to like hit them. I don't remember how that works, but I know I can take all of Scarlet Witches. So I'm going to take all of Scarlet Witches. 
and spread that around. I've lost Ultron, which is a total bummer. But that's okay. I'm, I'm going to say it's okay because I don't really have any other choice. I am... I'm hoping just to kill Quicksilver with this. I shouldn't need to hit him twice. I'm hoping to kill Gambit with this ultimate. And I feel like I'm just not doing enough damage. I'm glad I aimed at Gambit. That was the right character to double tap into. Oh, I don't get a double tap. I'm so used to my Kang being a striker that I just didn't get it. I don't know. I'm dumb. All right. Hopefully we can kill Rogue here. This is not the most efficient attack on the planet, but it should be a win. So at least we're going to win all my rooms. Oh, my God. Devastating ultimate from Gambit. I believe that had the extra 200% damage on it as well. But now we all get to smash his face in. And that is it. Should be it. That's it. Okay. Um, I don't know. That wasn't very efficient. See, my, I guess I just have to make my defense to the point where I'm guaranteed to get at least one win. I don't know if I can do that. See, that, that's where Black Knight would come in handy. If I had Black Knight on defense, I would probably guarantee myself at least one victory. I don't know. Because they seem to be clear in everything. I don't think I've lost. I, the first round, I got stonewalled on a room, but ever since then, I haven't. All right, we are going to use pure... Actually, no, I am going to sub in Nova here because they have Loki. And this should help me get a turn advantage by having less mystic characters. So let's not play into their hand. Let's use Nova. Where the hell did Nova go? Where is Nova? Nova? Where are there's Nova? Yeah, I like Nova here. Um, instead of Doctor Strange. In certain circumstances, in certain circumstances, Doctor Strange is better. But um, Nova is usually a good substitution on Secret Defenders. All right, let's go. Oh, God. What a season. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can take 40 days of this. It's like 40 days of this season. That seems excessive. I don't, I don't want to do this for 40 days. How long should Cosmic Crucible seasons be? Like two weeks? I don't know. Maybe a month. I guess that's about what it is anyways. Okay, who are we going to slow down? I am going to slow down the whole middle is what I'm going to do. And then we want to land a stun on Morgan Le Fay. This is pretty much what I do every time. This is not anything out of the ordinary. And I should get like a 23-point victory bonus. I don't understand the Loki thing. I don't think that's a good idea in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't seem to help this team. Maybe in certain ways it does, but I haven't seen it impactful in any meaningful way. All right, we got Doctor Strange Heartless out of there. Nova's going to be coming up with a big stun. Here comes Nova with the big stun on Agatha. And we have that Wong there, but he was blinded, so we weren't really taking damage from him. Here comes in Ghost Rider. Who might kill Wong? No, we're close to it. Uh, this black cat is going to kill Wong. Just with her basic. There we go. And then we're going to start working on Morgan Le Fay. I'm a little annoyed that it's taken this many turns. But I think we've got the win here. Because Agatha is going to bleed out. No. No. She's going to get destroyed by Nova. All right, there it is. I was okay. I need to see like 50 180s though in terms of efficiency, and I just don't know if I'm going to see that here, so we're chancing it. I really hate losing Cosmic Crucible due to efficiency bonuses. Uh, last season was feeling much better for me on that. All right, we're going to go with Infinity Watch. Here we go. And I don't know what to do to make this better. Um, I, I, this is as good as I can do. I mean, I guess you could throw like Icarus and Cersei in. No, you can't. <laughs> you really can't. You can't do much. It's damn Infinity Watch, man. It's still meta. We can't get away from it. Infinity Watch. Just miserable. All right, let's go for it. If my hive mind was bigger, if I had diamonds, um... Void Knight is going to be a character you want diamonds on. Void Knight is definitely a diamond-worthy character. I would definitely like to have some diamonds on Void Knight. 
but I don't have them today. So there's really not much I can do about it. I think last time I did this, I had an opportunity to do it better, and I just didn't. I think it's better to ability block Adam Warlock than anyone else because he kind of dies last. Like, you can just kill everybody else. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit the special with Carnage, which should knock a lot of people below health. And then we can stun. Um, I'm going to stun Adam Warlock, too. It's kind of like right down the middle. You just kind of want to hit everybody. Now we can blind an ability block, right? Uh, yes. Blind and ability block. Um, I'm going to ability block and blind nebula. I don't want them getting those. I don't want them getting those evades. And now we need to kill Philavel, which shouldn't be a problem. All right. Vulture's going to hit everybody. We're getting more turn bar. And now we can suck up energy, but I'm going to do that from Gamora so it hits everybody. And then we are going to hit Philavel and probably kill her very soon. Okay, not just yet. Like, I bet there's a way to play this that will get you better efficiency than other ways to play this. But I don't know if I know how to do that. All right, I'm going to go after Moon Dragon now over here and start getting rid of some of her death proofs. Um, I am going to hit Nebu... No. I'm going to hit Gamora because I can drop her below health. And get some more turn bonus for my team. Actually, kill her. Okay, and now we have Nebula has the taunt. And we killed Adam Warlock once. We're doing well. It's just like it's taking too many turns. They're not getting turns, which is nice. And uh, Nebula's out of there. Okay, good. And now I can ability block them all again. And we killed Moon Dragon. It's, just, it's too many turns. All right, not bad. I do like how they don't get turns, though. That part's fun, but I don't like the point where I don't like the part where I take so many turns to kill them. So, like, I don't know. If they were bigger, it'd be better. Or if they could remove... I guess the other problem is if they do take a turn, then they lose their revive once, which can help with efficiency as well. All right, since we're at the halfway part, the halfway point, let's have a look at this efficiency. So 20 points on room one, 19 points on room two, and 13 points on room three. It's just not very good. I've really got to make up for efficiency in the last three rooms. Now, thankfully, I think I can. I think we are going to be more efficient in the last three rooms of this than we were in the first three rooms of this. Let's give it a go. but nowhere near the heights of what I was achieving last season. And I blame room four. Room four is ruining my life. Room four has pretty much nullified uh, three diamonds on Icarus. Like it doesn't even matter. I'm not even going to use Icarus. All right. I believe the ability block needs to go on to Miss Marvel Hardlight. If Captain America is weak enough, passive damage will kill him. But if he's strong, then it won't. I am going to, I don't know. I am going to slow down the whole right side because it's way too tempting. Like I could have slowed down Captain America, but I think I can just like ability block him out. I'm not really sure. Doesn't really matter too much. All right, I'm going to remove all the buffs from Black Cat. I think that's a good place to be at. Yeah, I like that. And then here comes in Apocalypse. And, oh, uh, God, I could go down. Yeah, I'm going to go down the middle and get kills. Uh, forget Captain America. He's not, no one's going to be alive for him to give energy to. It's not going to matter. I've got all the energy. I have all the energy. All right, now I can go ahead and ability block out. You see, he's too slow. He's too, it doesn't make any sense. I see a lot of people doing this, and it doesn't make any sense. I believe the passive damage is going to kill... Ghost Rider, and that would be good. Yeah, passive damage killed Ghost Rider. More energy thrown out to everybody. I would have liked to have killed that Black Cat before her turn, but it's okay. I would love to be more efficient, but that's okay. Um, 
Yeah, I will ability block Black Cat here and slow her down. Doesn't really matter. Now we'll stun Miss Marvel Hardlight and hit everybody with Rogue. And I still feel like I'm moving through molasses on this. It still just feels way too slow. But all right, here it goes. There it is. That room's done. It's a lot to throw at it, but, you know, it's, it's foolproof. At least these are all wins. It could be worse. At least I'm winning. I'm winning, but I'm not really winning. Does that make sense? I don't know. I guess it's good for the event. All right, here comes what I got. Uh, here comes the new Warriors attack. This is the one I'm worried about because it's New Avengers plus Sinister Six. I don't think there's really actually any synergy here to worry about, though. I think the new Warriors should just run over this. But let's find out. I've never done it. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. I never fought it. I don't think it's going to work. I think this is foolish. If this works, I'll set it as my, I, I don't, I want to set it as my own defense, but I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Let's go through this. And here comes Gwenpool. She's going to like kill everybody. She's going to murder everything. All right, she didn't kill everything, but she did pretty good. Uh, no Tigra? You're running new warriors with no Tigra? Like what's actually wrong with you? All right, I'm going to get rid of Vulture over here and just like everything else. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I think this team is stupid. I don't think they know what they're doing either. Um, I am going to spread everything off of Mysterio over here because I want to hit everybody. And then here comes in Cloak to win the whole fight. I think this is it. It's damn near it. We still have one Vulture. Vulture's still alive. Oh my god, Mysterio clones are still alive. I don't know what they're doing or how they're staying alive, but they should die now to... There it is. Okay. So yeah, that, that, was, that was stupid. That was nonsense. That was literally nonsense. Probably could have just blown it up with Icarus. Quite honestly, that would have been a good one for Icarus. I don't know. But I don't know what else you could use New Warriors on. New Warriors are nerfed out of so many things. Stupid room four. It's ruining my life. All right, let's go after room six, and then we can see what our total efficiency score is and if it's anywhere near what it needs to be. And this is absolutely going to be superior six, and I love superior six on this because they're going to remove that revive once if they get an attack. Who are they giving? They're giving up Gambit. Replacing one of the best members with Dormammu. Well, let's see how it plays out for him. I'm pretty sure Superior 6 runs all over this, but we will find out. I also don't think this is the best room for them. I guess they get Safeguard, though, so maybe it's okay. This is the room where they eat all their buffs. I don't know. I still don't know what the thumbnail for this video is going to be. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, here comes in Green Goblin, and it's just got to be his ultimate. Ultimate away. That was pretty destructive. Pretty damn destructive. We are going to double tap on Forge. Forge is still the one to kill, I think. Coming in again with Lizard. And let's go ahead and ability block Forge, too. Just kind of throw it all at Forge, and that way uh, Craven runs around and hits everybody. I will go ahead and grab my Regenerations and my Shocker. And now we have Spider Slayer. And I'm going to aim at Dormammu for the double tap. I thought Forge might just die on his own, but no, he, he hung in there. But he got uh, killed with a Goblin Bomb. Oh, he took a turn, too, so he got rid of his revive once, so that's great. That's another good reason to let him take a turn so that he lo so that they lose their revive once. I don't mind it. All right, we're hanging in there. We're, they're doing damage, but... Uh, all right, Cyclops died. He got to do his ultimate. That could have been devastating, but I'm just going to do the basic over here and kill Cyclops on the splash damage, and then that's it. It was pretty good efficiency, too. 
So you got to have a pretty big superior six for that, or else it could have been problems. We did take a lot of ultimate moves, but at least they burned off their own revive once, so we were able to get some uh, some better turn order in there. And let's see what our final score is. Our final score is at 5184. All right, I'm going to take that. That was good. All right, so there it is. Six flawless attacks. Let me see if my opponent has done their attacks yet. No, I don't believe they have. If you want to know how I did this round, make sure you tune in Monday for Addicted to Marvel Strike Force. At the end of that video, I usually recap all of my Cosmic Crucible for the week so you can see if I won or not. There's lots of other great videos on this channel and on my second channel, so make sure you check them out. And Grave Diggers, keep digging. Stop what you're doing, baby, and follow Mr. Hargrave from Parks Unknown, if you will, baby. I've seen the demon's face. Mark doing one half party party, say what up to the grave diggers and keep doing your thing. Watch another video or the test.